Hello, my name is Eric Bollman. I'm the owner of Haynes & Cross. We're a company located in Laguna Niguel. We specialize in rug cleaning, although we also do carpet and upholstery in-home. But as I say, our specialty is oriental rugs, and we're set up at our facility here to clean those properly. Although there's many different ways you can clean rugs, and there's many techniques we employ in cleaning rugs, the primary dictator of how we're going to clean a rug is determined how a rug is made. And let me just show you real quick the primary difference between a hand-knotted rug and a tufted rug. And a hand-knotted rug, as the name implies, is actually knotted, which means that the wool is tied around the foundation of the rug which is made up out of cotton fibers which you see here. So literally these extend all the way through the rug from top to bottom and side to side and the wool is tied around it. So that's a hand knotted rug, that's a rug we can do what we call an immersion cleaning on. Now contrast that with a rug like this which visually looks very similar to a hand knotted rug. You really can't tell the difference just looking at them. However if you turn them around you'll see a stark difference here. This rug actually is what they call a tufted rug which means that the fibers are tufted into a backing material that's then glued together and covered up with a backing material. So these rugs typically cannot be cleaned by an immersion method. Usually we would do a modified surface cleaning on these, but again, we will look at a rug and then determine how it can be best cleaned. Once you bring a rug into our facility, uh, we usually do what we call a pre-inspection, which is just taking a look at the rug, measuring it, but also looking at some possible pre-existing conditions. And on hand knotted rugs, the most typical things you'll find, which might be some end damage here, as you can tell, where uh, the side cord has come off. That's something we can definitely fix. Other issues that you might see, which is not really in a hand knotted rug and an, an imperfection, but it's just part of a hand knotted rug, which is this line you see here, which is called a brush. It's literally when a rug is made and they run out of one kind of wool, they go on with another, and you might have a color difference that's usually dictated by a line. And another issue sometimes on an older rug that has been repaired, it might have an insert, which means they used another piece of rug to insert to fix some damage. But that's what we go through. We look at the rug and measure it for you, and then we can give you an exact prescription for the best way to fix and clean this rug. Another step we take, which is really critical before we do any cleaning through your rug, is to test the dyes to make sure that they are safe for cleaning. Uh, there are certain dyes that can run and create a big issue when you get a rug wet for cleaning. So that's why we will uh, scrim the fibers apart to really get a little bit deeper into the rug to see if there might be an issue with the color. And we dab it with some hot water and we use a towel to see if there's any color transfer. In case there is color transfer, we have ways of setting dyes and making sure that they're clean. But as you can tell on this one, there's indeed some color loss. So this would be a rug we would have to take some additional preparation before the cleaning. The next step, again, before we actually get the rug wet, is to do a rug dusting. What the rug dusting does gets all the dry soil out of your rug. All the gritty, sandy soil that gets into a rug from years of traffic. We use a machine, we turn your rug in the upside down position, and literally will shake the dust out of your rug. I'll demonstrate it real quick here. Just from that short dusting we did, I'll show you what came out of this rug. Here you can tell, just from that very short period of dusting, this real fine gritty soil that otherwise remains in your rug if you don't properly prep the rug before wet cleaning. A lot of times the fringes of a hand knotted rug will have literally little knots that sit on top. And that's uh, designed to hold the rug together, but also is where a lot of soil gets caught. So that's why we take some extra time once we have it on a wash floor to use a brush and with our rug shampoo and really work hard on getting those rug knots really very well cleaned and the fringe very well clean. Once we are completed with that, we'll move on to the cleaning of the rest of the rug. This next step is where the cleaning of your rug really begins. This is the shampooing of the rug where we'll use a wool safe rug shampoo and really work it into the fibers of the rug. This way all the soil gets loosened and emulsified and then we will rinse it out. Once the rug has been shampooed and all the soil emulsified, we'll start the rinsing process. This is where we'll use clean water, fresh water, to rinse your rug completely clean. Okay. 
When rugs have pet issues, and especially pet urine, we have some additional challenge to deal with. What we end up doing is building a perimeter in this wash floor, and we'll fill that up with water and vinegar and enzymes, and let your rug soak for about four to six hours to completely get the odor out. We can guarantee the odor removal. Staining issues might not always come out. Once your rug has been completely rinsed out and all the soil is gone, now we need to get the water out. There's two ways we do it. First, we will squeeze out as much of the water with the roller. Then the final step will be an extraction of the moisture. Once the moisture has been extracted from your rug, we'll move it to our drying room, which is a state-of-the-art setup, which includes drying poles, which we can tow your rug up onto the ceiling, and also air movers to help air movement to dry the rug. Typically, most rugs we can dry overnight in about eight to 10 hours in this room. Once your rug is dry, we'll bring it down from a drying room and do a final inspection and a finished grooming on your rug. This way, all the wool fibers will be aligned in the same direction and it will be nice and soft to the touch. Once your rug is ready and groomed, we will roll it up for you. We will tie it off and it's ready for you to pick it up or we can come deliver it to you. Thanks for your virtual visit to our shop. I appreciate your time. And next time you have a rug that needs cleaning, please keep us in mind.